it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while since I've been on my channel, but um, I've been in school and just busy, but um, I wanted to film a video today with a lot of new products that I've gotten because although I haven't been posting, I still buy a lot of makeup and I get a lot of makeup. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do a full face of new products. I have so many new products that it's going to take two videos to get, two or three videos actually to get through them all. So you'll be seeing a little bit more of me now, but <clears throat> yeah, if you guys want to see uh, me do a full face of new makeup, then please keep watching. We're going to start off. So I did my skincare and everything. So I added like serums and such, but I didn't have face moisturizer. And that's because I have this guy right here. This is the Kylie Cosmetics. Sorry, Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. Facial moisturizer. I figured why not try it out. This doesn't have the worst reviews. So, but as you guys can tell from my voice, I am sick. No, it is not. Rona. Uh, negative but it was really really bad cold that was kicking cold slash flu i was kicking my butt for a few days it's still kicking my butt i figured that if i put myself together i'm like all right i'm not feeling completely crappy today but i gotta put myself together and do things and i'll feel better so that's what i'm trying but the girl is tired i've been sleeping a lot it's been a lot Next, I want to go into the new Benefit Professional Light Primer. I've tried the original, which I didn't mind, but I'm really excited to try this one out. It's kind of a seal, so let's just get into it. I don't want to talk too, too much because technically... Oh my god, this one's like pink. The original... What the hell? That's such... The fact that I can pick this up is very weird to me. These primers are normally like yellow, pale yellow. Okay, ooh, this feels very nice on the skin. Oh my goodness. Dare I say it's like a little bit hydrating. Like, I don't know, it just felt so nice. I felt like a nice cooling effect. This is nice. I like this. I also don't mind the Kylie Prime uh, Moisturizer. It's not set heavily scented or anything, and it's moisturizing if you have the driest of skin do i recommend it no but it's a simple moisturizer if you have like combination skin or just normal skin and you're getting into skincare and you want to try out a moisturizer this could be good um but not for dry skin definitely <clears throat> maybe for more oily but not dry i just did my eyebrows at home because i couldn't go anywhere to do them because i've technically been like quarantining just to make sure today is like the first time i'm actually like, you know going somewhere so I use um, these razors from Nicole Miller, and I kind of shaped them. Editing Nikki here, hi. So, <clears throat> excuse me. My camera cut off when I did my foundation, but the foundation that I used today was the Zueva, the Luminous Foundation, and I used the shade 240N, which is Gratitude, and I absolutely love it. I actually have it on right now, so this is kind of like... Um, literally like 10 hour check-in i love it it's super good and um it's so lightweight on the skin and it blends in so nicely so i really really like the foundation i'm so sad that i didn't get to capture like me putting it on because i was super happy and surprised and then for under eye for the concealer i used the huda beauty concealer and i used um i think it's called like coconut flakes it's like 110 or something I use this shade like 110 Coconut Flakes, and that's another product that I like. I made a point to um, talk about how I like the fact that the Zueva Foundation is very natural coverage. So like, it's like medium to full. You can build it up, whereas the Huda Beauty is automatically full coverage. And I like the look of like a nice natural skin, and then under the eye, just more covered and i like just more intensity under the eyes so i love the combination of the zueva foundation with the huda beauty concealer so i just wanted to make sure i came on here and said that so yeah let's just continue on with the video i'm so sorry that i didn't get to film that part but let's get on with it 
I'm loving this. Everything I've used so far is making for a really great base. So I'm really happy because for me, like complexion is like my number one, especially now since I'll be doing clinicals and such, I'm really going to be focused on complexion. Like I just like to look awake and alive because um, sometimes when I wake up, I'm like, all right, I'm like a little tired. So I like to add concealer, a little bit of foundation, bronzer to make myself just look alive personally. But um, I'm going to go into some cream bronzer. This is the Soul Body um, Face and Body Bronzing Balm. This is in shade Dark. I've used this in a video before. I haven't really picked it up since, honestly. Um, no specific reason why I just don't cream contour all the time, but I want to start. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. foundation brush and I'm going to... This does have a really like beachy scent. I don't mind it, but because it's not like it's a horrible scent. But just saying, it, this does have a really nice like beachy scent, like almost like sun tanning lotion with the good smelling ones. Like I'm using this Jaclyn Hill. Um, it's from one of her collections with Morphe the complexion or like the big fluffy um complexion brush and i love this um for this product i blended it in so nice i always like to take my bronzer a little bit on my eyelids um especially if i don't have eyeshadow to give it a little bit depth so next we're gonna set i went back to an old favorite of mine i used to really use this in high school it's the lancome long time no shine translucent powder they only have two shades translucent and then the dark one or deep i don't know if this will be too light for me because i'm really used to using tinted um under eye powders but we will see but this is overall a really great powder from what I remember. I hope I still love it because this girl is not cheap. But I love the packaging and everything. It's so cute. Okay, so. My eyes have been creasing a little bit more lately. That's just me. I've been trying to use eye cream. But, alright, so. Like. That. The thing is, is that this is translucent, but it has like a small, like, beigey tint to it. So, it's not <clears throat> too white. I'm going to put some on my eyelid to set so that my eyelids don't crease. So, it's not too white on my skin. And, yeah. But I think it should be fine. But on this side, I kind of blended it in more and I really like the way it's blending in. I like this more than the Laura Mercier, I have to say. Laura Mercier, it just, I don't know. It doesn't work for me. It settles into my creases under the eyes, even if I like, no matter how much I blend it out. And it's just, I like the color of it, of the translucent, not, is it honey? Honey? Yeah, I think it's translucent honey. Um, I like the color, but I don't know, I hate it. Go into the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is my favorite favorite all over face powder favorite of all time it sets everything for me without like taking any of like the bronziness from my skin if i cream contour like you can kind of still see it and that's what i like i feel like that's what i needed and i finally found it it was either between this or this and then like one of the mac powders but i feel like this is like more ideal because i think the MAC powders are more like foundation, if I'm not mistaken. This is such a basic makeup look, but yeah. I don't think I'm going to go over with any like powder bronzer because I feel really bronzed. Like, I'm honestly very surprised at how bronzed I am, even after using powder and everything. So I'm happy about that. I'm just going to go into some blush. This is the Powerpuff Girls blush with ColourPop. This is Saving the World such a cute packaging and shade and this is a really good everyday shade for me because it's peachy um i feel like peachy tones and blush are better for me for every day if i want to go a little bit more like nighttime look i would do more of like a pinky tone i'm gonna go into the jacqueline 
Cosmetics Mini Highlighter in shade Iced. I have to say I tried this once and I really do like it. I mean, it's super pretty. One swipe and it shows and that's all I need. I really, really like the formula of it, so good job, Jacqueline. Um, I will say, like, this component is literally plastic. Um, I think it's probably better, I guess, because, like, if you were to drop it or anything, like, you know. But, um, yeah, this is literally, like, plastic. Not a bad thing. I'm just saying. All right. Complexion is basically done. So for mascara, I'm kind of excited because I have two of like the newer Essence um, Lash Princess mascaras. I always use the original. So I have the volume mascara and then I have the curl and volume. I think I'm going to go with the curl and volume. Their wands are super cool on, is it this one? I don't know. Or maybe I didn't get a cool, yeah, it's this one. So no, I'm going to go volume. I want to see what the wand does. <laughs> um, it has like a curve to it. I like it. So let's go. This one seems so thick, like so much thicker than the original Lash Princess. The volume one seems so much thicker. I think that was just the initial pump, but I like what it's doing for my lashes. Do I think it's really different from the original Lash Princess? No, I don't think so. Maybe I should do, I should have done like a side by side, but <clears throat> I mean, it definitely gives my lashes more volume. I, I do think that, um, It just all depends on the look that, like, I'm going for. This is the look I'm going for today, apparently. I mean, it's not bad at all. I just, I think I like the original one a bit more. You guys let me know down below if you guys have tried them and compared them and, like, if you've seen any difference. Lastly, going into some lip liner. This is the Mented Cosmetics lip liner. This one is in Night, Mented Night. This is the brown. I love these. They're super creamy. Um, they melt right onto your lip and I love that personally. Love this. So I'm gonna try something different. I have this MAC lipstick. This is new for me. This is in shade Marrakesh. It's like a reddish tone. And I wanna see what it looks like together. Like this reddish orangey. Oh. Oh my god, I feel like I just created like that 90s lip with like the brown lip liner and then orange on the inner. Hmm. I like. I think I like this. I was going to add some pinky in the center, but I don't know. I might keep it. Mm. All right. I think I like that. Awesome. This is a really pretty color. Hmm. So, that is it for my full face of new makeup. Um, the one thing that I think didn't fully impress me was just the Lash Princess Mascara, the newer one. I feel like it's very similar to the original, but I like the original more. I feel like this one came out more clumpy and like more thick um, than I would, than like a normal Lash Princess would when I open it. Um, that's just my opinion you guys let me know like what you guys think on like the newer ones but overall i love everything i love <laughs> the zueva foundation i love the soul body bronzer i love everything that i use today just besides the mascara but i love this lip combo i love everything and that's a first so let me know what you guys think down below i hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe be tuned for more videos i can't say they'll be consistent because i'll be really busy but i'll try my best i will see you guys in the next one hopefully soon bye